Hi, welcome to my blog. Today I will tell you about my trip to Tenerife. A bit about Tenerife. It is an island that belongs to Spain. Its capital is Santa Cruz de Tenerife, but I marked Puerto de la Cruz on the map because we stayed there. It takes about 5 hours to fly to Tenerife. We also flew that much. Later we had to get from the airport to Puerto de la Cruz and it also took some time. That day we hit the beach and walk around the city. On the second day we went to a Spanish school. We had a lecture on islands communication in the pre-telephone era and then we planted a tree. We could also try typical Spanish delicacies. Many, 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 many years ago, not just in La Gomera, but also in El Hierro, La Palma, and Tenerife, people whistled because of survival. They didn't have mobile phones, they didn't have um, computers. So there was a system of, uh, of communication through the whistles. And because of our mountains, uh -huh. This was a, very, a good, good system of communication. Also, UNESCO gave us Patrimonio Mundial de la Humanidad. Okay? Because it's a piece of culture and also it has a high complexity in the technique. Okay? That's why, even today and nowadays, we can whistle. So, everything you can see, we can whistle as well. So, for example, is there any volunteer who would like to tell me a sentence, even in Spanish or in English? For example, yesterday I went to the scene. Do you think that it can be wizard? Yesterday I went to the cinema. On the third day, we went to La Laguna to the university and had classes there. After then, we returned to Puerto de la Cruz and visited them with a guide. There are lots of cozy streets and murals in Spain. Uh, we are in front of the university and we are having classes in An interesting fact is that the traditional finishes of a Spanish house typical of Tenerife are wooden windows, balconies and shutters against the background of the rest of the house, which is brick, plastered and painted. It looks very nice. On the fourth day, we visited the Elte, the observatory, went to the beach and tried churros. The views from the observatory were really beautiful. It was quite cold, but very interesting. Excuse me. Yes? Did you answer her two questions for me? Yes, of course. Okay, what's your name? My name is Liliana. My name is Lucia, and how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, how do you like nature around the volcano El Teide? I think the nature is amazing, it's beautiful. Um, were you interested in the topic of observa observatories? Uh, the observatory, it's, uh, it's very interesting. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have nice fields here, don't we? Yes, it's beautiful. Uh, thank you for answering my question. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Wow.
observa de día y se observa de noche, entonces hay turnos, ¿no? ¿Y cuáles sí. son los horarios de trabajo? Horario desde que sale el sol hasta que se pone. Pero de los que trabajan aquí. Sí. Y después los que trabajan de noche empiezan a las 6 de la tarde, cuando ya empieza a oscurecer hasta que amanece. Eh, entonces hay una persona de noche y otra de sí, día. Sí. The water in the ocean is icy. Now we are on the black beach and I can see the ocean. The churros are delicious and the Spanish town in the evening is wonderful. On the fifth day we visited Loro Park. We were separate to go to the beach, clean up and talk about ecology. But the teachers surprised us. It was amazing. Now we are going to Laura Park and I am very excited. Last day was a bit sad. We finally said goodbye to the warmth and the ocean. Nevertheless, we went to the pool and had a great time until the last moment. I would like to thank our teachers for your interest in the project's help and care. I also thank Erasmus for finding the project. Thanks to you, I checked my English and I could experience an amazing and great adventure. Bye!